my Nivea for Men Moisturizing Balm as I always do. For foundation, I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me foundation in 128 for the middle part and 310 for the outer part. Next, I use Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer in Sand. I'm using my U Beauty palette. I'm going to use these shades to contour my face. To bake, I'll use CoverGirl's Professional Loose Powder in Fair. I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera, and the link to how I do my eyebrows is right here. So when I come back, I'll have on eyebrows. For primer, I'm going to use Urban Decay Primer Potion. And let's just prime my eyes real quick. I don't know what to talk about in these videos, but I guess I'll talk about some stuff that I actually talked about in my other video, like my old deal with the car situation. I still haven't got my car yet. Yeah, this process is taking very, very long. Longer than what I was expecting. And then the process with my room now. I need to go and buy paint, so I'm thinking after I finish doing this makeup, I will just go to the hardware store and just buy some paints, because I've been looking around for who has the best deal for paints, because my room is quite on the bigger side. When I got my room, it actually wasn't a room, it was an attic, so we changed it to make it into a room. So it's not like a huge red room, let's, let's not get it twisted. Oh my god, it is dry. It's too dry. Look at that. What the hell? Are you guys seeing this? Well, obviously, if I'm going to do this whole Urban K thing, I have to put on one, blend it out, and then come back to the next one and blend that out. Ugh. Jesus, what a mess. Oh, it's even that long. Like less than two minutes and it already dried. Ugh. Okay, that, that's the best I'm going to be able to do. Let's just go again. We're going again. Okay, so for eyes now. Kind of came in here with no plan. That's not good at all. Like I always should come in with a plan. Oh, I'm going to set this. I'm going to go into my e.l.f. beauty book. I'm going to take that light cream shade right there and just set the primal. I'm going to go into my Carly Bible BH Cosmetics palette. I just want it like a dusty light color, so I'm going to use this color as my transition color. If I can find my brush. Hmm. Is that it? That is it. It still has green on there. Huh. I wonder why. I really need to wash my brushes. I actually was thinking I want to get that brush cleaner, like the one that you just push in and just like have it clean the brush for you because cleaning my brushes hurt my back. I'm quite tall I guess I guess I'm, I'm gonna use that reason for why it hurts my back because the sinks they're not made for my height let's just say that so every time I'm using like the sinks I have to bend over so much not so much I'm not that tall but enough that it hurts my back I guess I'm just weak I'm a weak giant I'm gonna take some of that I'm just gonna blend that out here so we're just going to blend this into the crease oh I am really liking this shade can you see it barely but I actually really like this shade it's like really soft it's just a soft subtle color some people in my comment section for the DIY nail look that I did the link is right here yeah they were asking me how I take the nails off you can use acetone to take them off I don't like the whole idea of soaking my nails in acetone for that long so what I actually do is pop the nails off I know that doesn't sound good at all like it sounds like it will damage my nails but that's why I put on the whole top coat before and like I just feel like that protects my nails because my nails look fine right now so obviously it's not damaged I just pop them off I'll have some glue left over and I just wipe that off with acetone so it's not like I'm soaking my nails for that long next shade I want to use is this shade just to darken up this look just a tad I'm gonna use it right in the crease I want to use this pink shimmery shade right here and just apply that to my lid I'm just trying to go for a really subtle look today a quick easy look That really does not look pink. And camera, it looks like I haven't applied anything either. God. None of this pink is coming out. Like, it looks just like glitters on my eyes. That's it. I don't know how to feel about this. So, I'm going to take this. What color is that? A light mauve? Nah. 
I'm gonna take that color right there. I'm gonna just brush it into this shade right here. I'm going to go back to the shades I was using before and just blend this out just a bit more. Yeah, this eye is watering for some reason. It's already starting. It's not good. Now I'm actually going to take some water on this brush and see if that helps. Too much water, but enough. There we go. Look at that. Oh my god. The magic. Look at the difference now. Hopefully you guys can see the difference, but the water trick literally helps. That's why I always keep like a spray bottle of water beside me. Look at that. Look, 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 look just, just, just look at that. That looks so much better. So I did that to the other eye. <laughs> the problem now, my brush is completely soaking wet. I can't use this brush anymore. Whoops. Just make sure you finish your eye look before you, you dump your brush. Okay, so I'm, I, I'm finished with that brush. So I'm just gonna go back to the other brushes. I'm going to curl my lashes and apply CoverGirl Super Sizes Fibers Mascara to my top lashes for now. Whoa, 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 what the hell? Why is this brown? Why is this brown? I don't remember buying brown mascara. I need to curl my lashes again, they just went down. These feel really dry right now. This is too dry. Okay, no, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use my Rimmel London Scandalized Mascara. Okay, I think I actually want to darken up the look a bit more. So darken it up just a bit more. I want to apply this brown shade right here to the outer crease. Okay, so I have on my lashes. Hopefully they stay on this time because my eye has already started watering in this one. Is this lifting off? My eye is watering so bad that it just lifted off my lash. I'm going to take Colourpop's highlighter in Lunch Money. I'm going to my Coastal Sense 26 Shadow Blush Palette and I'm going to use this pink shade right here. Next I'm going to use my Ulta Matte Bronzo and this is in Cool and just control my things. Next I'm going to take my NYX Felt Tip Lino and this is in Brown and I'm just going to bring back out my mole. I'm going to go back into the BH Cosmetics palette and use the same three shades that I used in my outer crease. Or four shades actually, I used four shades and just blend it into my lower lash line. I'm going to take my flat brush and apply the shimmery shade right to the inner part. I'm going to go back into the Cardi Bible palette and I'm just going to take that pinky highlight shade and just highlight my cheeks. Look, oh, yas. I like that. Look at that. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. To set my makeup, I'm going to use Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and just spray that all over my face. Is that too much? I don't know. I think I'm gonna try Calypso, and this is the Ultra Satin Lip. Oh, that shine the look. Oh my god. So, this is the finished look. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, and share it. If it's to follow my Instagram, Tumblr, and Snapchat. Bye!